Men who have been forced by women, what's your story? My piano teacher, 35-year-old female. I was about 11, when I first went, probably 14 when I finished. She was married, had a child. It started with comments. Inappropriate ones. Looking back she was testing the water. Sitting next to me on the piano stool, hand on legs at times. I remember her telling me my eyes are up here. Just to make me feel awkward, when I know I wasn't looking. She then flashed me them saying would I focus now, I was so nervous and had no idea what to say. It got a little bit worse each week, ever so slowly. I honestly had blanked this out my mind for years. I think she touched me and made me come and that's it, nothing more. I made an excuse and quit piano to my parents. Never told anyone the full extent. She used to let me get away with not doing piano work and say it was our secret, which I realized she was encompassing the whole thing being our secret. I'm deeply embarrassed about it. I'm 27 and totally believe my kinks are related to that experience. How messed up right? Well. I wasn't violently forced or anything like that. But I was 13 and she was like 30. It was wrong, I was a child and she groomed me. I don't think I have any residual trauma or anything like that but I do feel upset when I think about it. Went to a small party when I was 16 and got blackout drunk. All I remember is puking my guts up and then a girl who I'd known for a while, someone who I trusted helping me to a bed. I wake up naked and her on top of me. I then passed out again within a few seconds. The next day I confronted her about it and she obviously denied it. Because my mom is incredibly understanding I told her about it and she took me to get tested for a few things. My mom is the only one who knows. Not even my fiancé knows even though I know she'd understand seeing as she was forced at a young age by a close family member. The friend and I never spoke again. I still ducking hate her for what she did to me that night. I wasn't exactly saving myself for anything special but she took my virginity that night. Something that I wanted to be sober for. Starts as it often does, out for a drink with a friend, lady. Ended up chatting with a lot of new folk. Met some girl who was a friend of a friend. She was sober for the night, and ended up offering me and my friend a ride home when we decided to go. Cool, cheaper than Uber. I ended up getting wasted. Rest of the story is as recounted to me by my friend. End of the night as we heading home. Girl asks where friend lives. Friend says she's spending the night at mine, as we'd planned, we've been besties for better part of a decade at this point. Girl says she's not. Friend explains her bag is at mine, with her keys in. Girl says, where do you stay? It's that where I throw you out here. I'm passed out in the backseat unresponsive. Friend eventually gives an address, where she knows she can get in, and immediately tries to contact my roommates, to no avail. I woke up naked, alone in bed, with a used condom on. You know as much about what happened as I do. I had one case where I was at a party. I had been drinking and had a girl that had been trying to hook up with me previously but I hadn't wanted to. She wasn't my type. So we're drinking and she's there, she's being cool, I remember pieces of us being in a car. She was on top of me. Woke up in my car and was like yo WTF. I had at most 4 to 5 drinks as I had planned to be driving home. So I guess at one point this girl got my a drink and crushed a Xanax, which I had only taken once before at this point in my life, and put it in the drink. A lot of our buddies just thought it was funny. I absolutely didn't. It took me years to come to terms with it. I was 10 years old and my sister and I went to a sleepover with two girlfriends of ours the elder one was 15 at the time. I didn't know much about sex neither was interested. In the middle of the night this girl started moaning to my ear and asked me to hug her. When I did she lied on top of me, my sister and hers were asleep, and slid my pants and underwear down and I couldn't understand. But the feeling I could identify was fear definitely. After a while she got off of me and asked me if I had a boner and told me that that means I liked it. Honestly I can't say I liked it because I didn't even understand what happened until some years after. My mind made me forget this memory until I was around 18. It's the first time I share this story and now in my 30s I get that this episode of my life could have triggered the problems I have faced with the opposite sex such as my low self-esteem, lack of confidence, hypersexualization and in my teenage years my fear of talking and facing girls I liked. I have thought about going to therapy but I feel ashamed. I was around 14 in boarding school in Nigeria. No alcohol or anything involved and it was four girls in senior class and it was some sort of initiation to a gang. 
I went out to take a pee around midnight, yeah the only option was by the bush that laid, remember weeing and they attacked me from behind. They pinned me down and took rounds with me. Couldn't go anymore after the second girl, so they just beat me up pretty bad and left. Didn't say a word about it to anyone till this day. One of the girls was expelled a while later for being pregnant. They pinned in on her school boyfriend at the time. Something still tells me that kid is mine. I was very scrawny and scared to shit so I don't scream for anything plus one of them had a machete. I have a gay friend. He's smart, fun to be with, and would generally be regarded as very good looking. He is also rather small, about 5 feet 4 inches or 5 feet 5 inches, I guess, though I think he wears lifts so I'm not sure. He's the kind of person with a big personality, so you don't notice his height so much. One thing that it took me a very, very long time to notice is that he is extremely nervous around women, particularly if they are taller and or stockier than he is. I remarked on this to him a couple of times, but he always brushed it off. Eventually, though, he explained that he'd been forced by a woman at a party. He explained that she was taller and heavier than him, and had a similar female friend. Both of them found him attractive, and he implied to me that one of them clearly had a fetish for smaller men. The friend basically held him down in one of the bedrooms upstairs from the party, I think he'd gone upstairs to use the bathroom, while the woman pulled down his pants and forced him. I believe this was oral and vaginal sex. For obvious reasons I didn't ask about the details. When I was 12, a nurse gave me a routine physical exam and then had me strip naked and lie down on the exam table. Saying it was part of the physical, she groped my testicles and fondled my dong until I got hard. She then fingered and digitally penetrated me. For decades, I assumed it was just an embarrassing incident. It was only when I posted my experience and a bunch of people pointed out I had been assaulted that I recognized what happened. I was really young. Stayed at a friend's house. His older sister and her friend got me into her room. Was going to teach me how to kiss. It turned into them using me as an object. I just froze. I was maybe 12 or 13. I was so young that girls weren't something I thought of, I liked sports and boy stuff. I didn't tell a soul about it until I was in my 20s. They told as many people as would listen. I denied it and didn't let up. My girlfriend at the time, decided she wanted to get pregnant regardless of my feelings on the subject, and stopped taking her birth control pills. This resulted in me not touching her for a few months, as I wasn't ready to have kids. One day I came home from work. Having worked 16-hour shifts for two weeks in a row, I just hit the shower and went straight to bed where I literally passed out. I woke an hour later with her straddling me, mid-sexual activity. I said no but she persisted. I then forcibly removed her from me, and slept in the living room. Suffice it to say, that relationship came to a halt quickly thereafter. Somehow a majority of the people I've told this, think it's funny that I think I was forced, because I'm a man and you can't get forced by your girlfriend. I had a good friend who was doing a couple of months time for some driving offenses. He specifically asked me to look out for his GF whilst he was inside. One night she called and asked if I could come pick her up as she was upset. Not a worry, we went and grabbed some food, went back to my place, watched a movie, she smoked a bit and I had a few drinks. I made a bed up for her on the couch and went to bed. Woke up with her writing me, I was furious, it was force. There was zero consent on my behalf. I pushed her off me. The first thing she said was can't wait to tell my friend, that she ducked his friend whilst he was in prison luckily I told him first he believed me and kicked her arse to the curb. Everyone thought it was funny as hell but it wasn't, it made me feel sick and violated. Twisted Bick. I was a tween in between 6th and 7th grade. Went on a carnival cruise with my family and friends. Had kissed a girl, but that's about it. Had tried alcohol before but didn't know my limits. We met up with a group of older kids, maybe three to four years older, and they had some alcohol so we hung out and drank a bit. Went to the teen club. Then the hot tub. This girl was talking to me, but no kissing or anything like that. We're tired and our rooms are close so walking back. Go to my room and she follows me in. Tell her I want to lay down so she lays down and cuddles. Fall asleep. Wake up at some point mid-sex. Wasn't really coherent or sure what do to. We finish and I go back to bed and she leaves. That's how I lost my virginity. Saw her a few times after that and kept in touch for a few months afterwards, but definitely felt like something was stolen from me. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. 
hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.